YouTube, the gaming Hoovian here with a new game, actually. As you can see, it is Divinity Original Sin the Definitive Edition. Now, as I've mentioned in the hardcore survival mode of Minecraft, that I was going to create a video on this. And so here I am. A new game. So let's jump right in. Looks like I need to create a profile here. Um, let's go with the Gaming Whovian. Yeah, there we go. Alright, looks like I can do a story, a Game Master, Arena. I can add mods. Ooh, that sounds cool, but it, a friend of mine did mention that it wasn't recommended. So, let's go to the story. Uh, let's go with single player. Yeah, uh, classic mode. Or, yeah, let's do story mode. Again, let's learn more about this game. So let's learn more about this game. Uh, looks like we've got a mage, a necromancer, an assassin, um, perhaps a, a tank, a berserker, uh, a pirate, almost. So, I suppose these are our classes, and it looks like we could be undead. Oh, that would be awesome. An undead assassin would be cool. Or undead tank. Or paladin. That would be super on a super weird and super cool. Um, yeah, no, I don't need to be shown how to play this game. I'm a game master. So, looks like we've got a knight, a metamorph, a ranger, a rogue, shadow blade, that sounds amazing, a wayfarer, a witch, a wizard, battle mage, cleric, conjurer, enchanter, fighter, Inquisitor, and then, yeah, that looks like it is all. Oh, and then we've got a background as well. The Red Prince, you are infamous. A brilliant warrior general exiled from his emperor, empire for cavorting with demons. Fallen from grace, you refuse to give up. The throne will be yours again. Sabil, a slave. No longer, you still bear the living scar your master used to dominate you. He turned you into an assassin, made you hunt your own kin. Now you hunt him. Who? And you can be any type of class you want. But it looks like these backgrounds are set in stone. Oh, you can change the appearance. Okay. Ifan Ben Mezd. That was the tank guy. A crusader in Lucian's army. You lost your faith as war claimed countless innocents. Now you're a lone wolf mercenary. Your missions kill Lucian's son. Ooh, looks like he's out for revenge. Just like the assassin. Beast. And it's a dwarf. <laughs> That's so ironic. Your failed rebellion against the queen nearly destroyed you, so you began a new life on the high seas. Now your old enemy is back. If you don't stop her, no one will. Oh, a righteous cause. Interesting. And then it looks like you've got some feats down here too. Los. I think that's how you pronounce it. You're a musician, performer, star, and host to all manner of disembodied visitors. Now... One dark voice has silenced them all, and aims to claim your body for itself. So perhaps this one is more of, I'm running for my life. Uh, 
I am scared. Or perhaps I will be defending myself, being courageous against whatever is trying to claim me. Fane, the undead. Oh, I can be an undead. Yes, this is what I want. This is a... Oh, but should it be Rogue or Shadowblade? Does the background change? No, it doesn't. Okay, you woke up and your world was gone, the last of your kind. You hide behind a charmed mask, searching for the truth about a history that no one knew existed. That, uh, ooh. That is cool. So I wonder if this is turn-based. What's this? Oh. Uh, yeah, let's keep it to me. Okay, so rogue. It's like two action points immediately, but lose next turn. Um, okay. Jump over the enemy, landing behind their back and back saving him for that amount of physical damage. 100% chance to backstab damage is based on your basic attack and receives a bonus from finesse. So this is actually a D&D based. That's interesting. Throw a knife at your opponent, dealing that amount of damage the same as the backstab. Can backstab damage is based on your basic attack and receives a bonus from finesse. Huh. So what's this one? Jump over an enemy landing behind them. Backstabbing for that amount of damage. Was that more than this? No. Grants you the power to blend in with any environment as if invisible. Ooh. Turn the target character into a chicken. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Wow, look at that dagger. It's so massive. Uh, looks like this is a crossbow. Oh, you can actually really see his skeleton there. Which that would almost be suiting for a skeleton, including a wizard. Battle mage. Ooh. Cleric. I'm not much of a healer person or wizard. A fighter. Knocking for that amount of distance uh, and damage. Throw your oh, it's like Captain America, but with a massive sword. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's that would be super nice. Yeah. This one's interesting. Uh, the more blood, the more they will be healed. Interesting. Mosquitoes. Healing myself with mosquitoes, even though I have no blood? That would be interesting. <laughs> Hit all enemies in your path. Knock down for one turn. Damage is based on a basic. Into the ground, hitting for that amount. Of Cripple the target with a sweeping blow and all characters around it, dealing a massive amount of damage. Wow, Knight seems super overpowered. I might go with Knight. Because it looks like the Rogue does less damage. Yeah, the Knight. And Undead. people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. But when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world I knew all but obliterated. I must even hide my true face beneath an ever-shifting mask for fear you savages will attack it. That is how I wander this 
strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. Cat stem lag there. Oh, didn't know you could listen to the origin story. I guess it was kind of sitting there in front of my face. That is interesting. Alright, let's go with appearance. Ooh, I can change the skull color. Whoa. That is so cool. Alright, let's zoom in. Alright, I kind of like the black skull. It looks cool. Either decompose. Yeah, charred. Here we go. Huh. Alright. Damaged. Completely golden. Iron. Ooh. I like this one. That one looks coolest. A hairstyle. I can't. have hair as a skeleton that is hilarious all right what is the worst hairdo to have as a skeleton ha it's like perfect oh that one was even worse oh my goodness <laughs> oh that one actually fits really well too Oh, all of these are ridiculous. What in the world? I I want this one. This one looks cool. What's this? Do? Oh, it changes the color of the hair. Oh, and he can have a beard too. Oh my goodness, this is great. This is great. I want this so bad. Set. Oh. Shows the primary stats you can spend points in. Uh, don't show the tutorials. I know how to play this game. Yeah, as a knight, I want strength and constitution. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> edit this too awesome okay so those are preset which I'm hoping will um, be right okay so looks like I can select tags for my origin ah I see so he's got a, a mask on Interesting. A mystic. So some of the gods, your vision is not quite your own. They call you a savage and animal. They don't know what it's like to need to fight tooth and claw just to survive. You do. Uh. Oh, looks like I can only. Oh. I can't unclick those. Okay. Instruments. Looks like I got a bonsiri. Looks like a flute. And a lute. Or a tambra. An oud. And a cello. Interesting. Alright. Let's see what this game has in store for us. We are playing as an undead poses unique risks and benefits. Must be veil their true selves during the living and risk being attacked healing potions and spells will damage you while poison heals undead can pick locks with a bony finger alone and can survive the scourge of death fog Ooh. are you sure yeah i'm sure let's do this Learian. Studios. I wonder what's going on here. There's a castle. Whoa. 
single drop of source magic. What is this sleeping beauty? Like flies to honey. The monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. So oh, that guy just slapped him in half. Me. Sent to Fort Joy. That's what you get. I'd come here to kill God Woken. But instead, I became part of their story. Okay. Whose story? Oh, nice title. Addition there. All right. That was an interesting story. <laughs> Larian Studios. Uh, yeah, that's reading off obvious tips that, as a programmer, I would already know. Alright. Still a bit groggy, are they? Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. Alright. I am currently chained down. Oh. Alright. Well, what you experienced, sir. If I'd had a mask to hide my bones as well as yours, maybe I'd still be walking around today. <laughs> Um, <laughs> is it normal? <laughs> I I kind of want to go with this one. I would oh, agree. More about like you still have flesh on your bones, eh? You even have the stuff that says the immortal will. Directly into the minds of others. Boast that you can make others hear the voice you want them to hear. You are that powerful. <laughs> Ask the talking cranium if it knows what's happening on this ship. How much do you think I get out of this? All I know is there are more like you. Well, not quite like you, maybe, but tortures. Followed on this town, all headed to Fort Joy. Fort Joy. That, your place. Secret is mine. Still, you'd best keep that mask on. The living don't take kindly to seeing their beasts staring at them. Um. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, yeah, it looks like I click around. Game. Saved. What's this? nothing here okay I know what I'm doing I can get back inside the bed I don't think I would want to do that what's over here what's this nothing a door can't reach all right looks like that box is in the way so let's go take the ladder up L what's in the view? Find someone to help you remove your source collar. That cannot be removed. I'm an eternal, imprisoned eons ago by my king. Now I'm free, but my people are gone. I've heard rumors of their structures being uncovered at the Black Pist. I must find them. The Merryweather. Hey, just like the famous boat that colonized the colonies. Huh. We we're aboard the Merryweather on our way to Sorcerer Colony. Colony. <laughs> we are told there is a murderer on board with us, Alexander's advisor. 
Dallas noticed that the Void Woken and are attracted to Source Alexander, quarantined the sorcerers. The Divine Sacrifice did not buy peace. The rise of the Void Woken brought the world death, destruction, and fear. Oh no. Lucian, the Divine Champion of the Gods, sacrificed himself to save Rebellion from the Void. His son Alexander now leads the Divine Order. Led by Lucian's son, Alexander, the dominant magic stars of the Divine Order are rounding up sorcerers for exile. Well, alright. Um, as sorcerers, we, we have been arrested by the Divine Order. The prison land of Fort Joy awaits us. Okay, so I'm trying to get the shackle off. Let's talk to this magic star. Sight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. Wow. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the clerk in charge of the logs. The logs, huh? You'll find him on the other side of this deck in the officers' quarters. Uh Peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those talk spells of yours? See what happens. Faint. Recall the wake feeling of waking up and draining a body of source. Recall the Russian power that filled you with. Unleash it. She might be playing a trick. Don't do it. Oh, do go on. I won't hold it against you. See? Now, what do you meet with the ram? Perhaps I needn't have collared you at all. Though it does look down on you. Well, let's proceed again, shall we? Because to answer your question, what this collar does is this. It makes you unable to cast thought. So, even though I... Even though if I tried casting a spell, it wouldn't have allowed me. Go on, peace of mind. It's all of us. Yours and the whole world. Uh, all right. Uh, you can tell your honor... Why say? Why? Because we're at sea, of course. We have these several days. Index fingers pressed together. He pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing bow. My boy, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that feather tip. Oh, see, she, she was the one who put me under. I saw your friend gather your books. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. Really? Then your life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure is very well. demeaning. An end to thoughts, perhaps. I suppose I shall take my leave. So I suppose when she said my next leave was Oh, I I am now taking everything out of empty. Empty. Well, Thanks, I guess. Two sheets of paper. A blank piece of paper that can be used to craft uh, extensive encyclopedia. Poison, which will hear me. Resurrection scroll, which is that. Revert to original canceling of the mask. Transform into form of a dwarf, switching racial talent skills and tags of an elf, lizard, human. And I can. Ooh. That would be a. I think that will be useful. Playing dead in this scenario. But for now, I need to. She knew the story. <gasps> Found some gold. Interesting. Good God, Sid. There's been a murder here. Ugly sight, isn't it? Plenty up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source technically. Uh Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. 
Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own soul. So I think the source is just the source of all magic, you know. I think that makes sense. We'll find out who did this. Moving on. She looks up at you with a murderous smirk. I was on duty in your room when the mirror happened. You were asleep the whole time. And even still, you're one of the only indisputably innocent people I know here. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Uh... I'm gonna go with this one. I think these two would lead her on to me, so... Was killed by sword. If a Magister could do that, there wouldn't be a Magister. Fair it enough. Looks more like a pattern for managed to slip their collar. And the rest, well, let's see the evidence and listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. All right. Bring me a good lead. I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. Ooh. Or hat. Yeah. I just want to catch whoever did this before they heard of anyone else. So do I, because I am a nice person, even though. Uh, let's talk to this guy. A bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. First thing you know. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time. It would have suffocated like the rest of them. Walker is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. All the more dag. Ask if you could lend a hand in the investigation if, if you knew the dead man. Ask if this sort of thing happens often. You surprised. I'm gonna go with number three. You know what sources are capable of. Whoever did this found a way around their collars and killed a man. Small ones this time, thank the gods. We'll find out who did it, one way or another. Maybe I'll have to end up being the bad guy. So I'm being held captive currently. Can I take this? No. That's empty. Let's go over here and see if what's going on. Empty potion bottle. Alright. What's in here? Nothing. An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice under the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry crackling of an old whip. Snake eyes. She chuckles. For those who don't know what snake is, uh, is it's two, it's a two ones. Like you roll two dice, six sided, six sided dice, and they both roll, uh, fall on one. That's snake eyes. I bet that's just what they look like. Uh, I wonder what she's doing. Well, yeah. Not the future, no, but I can read the past in a flash. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. And for a baby, too. I Maybe she can help in the... And tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? She looks at you in surprise when you bear an arm of bone. My. Guess I'll have to find out the memory from Marrow. Won't I? Yep. Give your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue. A hiccup, like a trapped groom. That's kind of gross. Hmm. You were there in a cellar with other sorcerers, watching, staring at them, hoping that none would stare back. You okay? You were desperate to speak up, to reach out, to form a connection with these strange creatures. But you were scared, terrified even, of what they might think of you. I wonder what this dialogue is going on up here. It's kind of distracting from this. She pats 
Thank you. I don't let any time. Right. Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. <gasps> Aw, she likes me. She looked you up and down, with the merest hint of a coy smile on her lips. She, and she knows I'm a skeleton. Never say never, though. Right. I mean, sure. If it works, it works. I'm busy watching some clues. We'll take the sob story somewhere else. Uh, sh okay, mister. A scruffy man lounges against the wall with star down his folder. A sly smile playing on his face, he stares across at the magical garden. Noticing you, he straightens and beckons for you to come closer. I guess I go closer. Back, you fish. Oh. There's a murderer on board and I've got three months to pay if this tramp is hanged. All right. Just rolling his eyes at the magistrate warden. The man named Ifan beckons again. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a soft touch, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He whispers. You should work that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbet in his general direction, the summoned magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now, you. We used to know each other, my sister. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Dave? Standing far back from Ifan, the typeface magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. That means he wasn't 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword, and now he's done it big time. Ha! <laughs> Ask Ifan what he did. Say that you're still curious about the murder. Uh, I want to learn more. Maybe I'll tell you about it when you're sure. Away from interested parties. Yeah, that makes sense. No. The dead man, Finn, is a fan. I've no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. He glances over at Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Okay. I'm feeling the sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. Uh, the joy. I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there. The fish have asked John Crumb for show. Yeah. I wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. Uh, that's a bit aggressive. Maybe he'll take it as a joke, though. Uh... Let's go with it. I might think the same, but Victor will blow a blood vessel he was here supporting my house. Ah, yeah, that's what true. Conspiring about over there? <laughs> What's your name? Uh oh, I've attracted attention. Oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a D in his bonnet. You can see it in this. Ha ha ha. Uh, is in a language he has never heard and cannot pronounce, but he may call you Fane. Won't that give me away as a skeleton? Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something legible down in a tiny notebook. He stares at you as you stare Now I've got a fake name. <gasps> I could give a lot of people fake names. Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips as he leans back against the wall. Ha! <laughs> He's got my back. Oh. Locked. Interesting. I'm trying to help you. A broad dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous cuts, each one braided through with golden medallions. Interesting. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Breaking up fight. Are you back? Uh. His head toward you, looking you up and down, and smiles before turning his attention to the ship once more. Looks like a boy to me. Ha! Listen, or get gone if you ask. 
that a wave of sound washes over it the unintelligible chatter so i clicked one twice there i'm way into the story it's almost like playing a D, D game as a player and the narrator is kind of the dm in a sense All right, what should I tell him? I wasn't listening to the narrator. Tell him the ship is moaning like a sick man. Say the sea sounds angry, like it's trying to capsize the ship. Remark that your shipmates are as chatty as coals. And you tell him you don't hear anything unusual. Let's go with number one. At the speed of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. <laughs> This guy's got a lot of salt. Look at Moa. Listen for words. You're listening for it. Tell him you don't have. Yeah, man. Just like that. Squeak. What in the world? Ah. His eyes snap open, but his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. Moa, you heard it, didn't you? I knew it. This is good news, boy. Good news. No, you beautiful idiot. That wasn't any lack. It was the hero. Each and every helmsman gets a cock one, which means we're heading east. Wow, he gathered that much from just the noise of... Wow. I'm actually impressed by this dwarf. miles to Fort Joy. <sighs> um, tell him he shouldn't be like that about such a magnificent beard. <laughs> uh, ask why he's so excited about reaching Fort Joy. You haven't heard anything good about the place? No, he must be a practice sailor. Ask what the figure means to him. Cut. Let's go with number three. Uh, leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. Uh... He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. Darn. I wonder if I could talk up to him again. Pardoning me, I'll be much obliged. Okay, no. You want to live? A divine order. It's Gil. <laughs> there are uninhabited sites in Fort Joy. You know it. The divine order killed a sorcerer. Interesting. Let's talk to this guy. Ask him who wants to know. All they want to know. Well, you won't hear on my leg. Cram, eh? The Grand Captain Killer here. All right. Well, well. What have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See what you're all doing. The what do you mean? Up and down, like a farmer would a session of horses. Interesting. He wished you firmly by the king, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. <laughs> Humor him. Let's see where this leads. Mumbled through clenched jaws. What on earth is he doing? The nerve slapped his hand hard. <laughs> Let's go with number one. There's some discoloration, as well as a rather disconcerting lack of tongue and gum, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find fine merchandise in a squalid little ship like this. What now, does he mean by that? You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Uh, all right. Now tell him you're quite the wizard in the kitchen, a true chef. Well, I wouldn't really know. So, 
Maybe I should go with that one and see where it leads. Laugh and say you can hardly tell a turkey from a turnip, which is the answer that I would go for. <laughs> tell him it's been an eternity since you've tried. Well, that kind of makes sense. Say you can, but that your sense of taste isn't what it used to be. Tell him you're not answering his damn questions. <laughs> Let's go with number two. No, you don't even mention the demon's testes or the turnip. Oh boy. For second question, can you knit three? In short, a pen? Um. Uh, number two fits. Uh, so it goes. So. Yes, Let's go with that. From your vagabond sheep, a bag is as good as a shirt. Couldn't be getting my head. On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the attitude of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics, said my master. Say so you most certainly have personal pride. You're no stranger to combs, powders, and perfumes rubbing your chin. Number two goes rubbing your chin. Tell them you're trying to recall the last time you bathed. What month is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's go with number one. A very basic question, I suppose. So, three questions asked, two questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? How was he evaluating? Per your own testimony, we can groom that you have the taste buds of a dung beetle and the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit. That's so right. That won't do at all, Bill. I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so kind. Oh, he was testing me to be his slave, excuse me? My slave, of course. Oh, oh, but I see. Yes, I suppose it must take some time for the full extent of my disheartening refusal to sink in. Yeah. Hone your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? Alrighty then. Final shard and boiled wick from Dragon's Orbit are cold. Meanwhile, the Magister is feasting on honeyed meat behind this very wall. The intriguing Pacific. Really? So, I mean, we're being treated like. Alright, that was the guy who was like, move along. Okay. So, who are these peeps here? Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> yes, yes I am. Ah, there you are. <clears throat> what do you mean? What? What? I'm s I I can flee tell the very charming dagger of Mr. Rattler says that I am by no account this local woman, nor do I sing in such I'm desperate, deathly allergic. So I can play along and take her arm with a grin, tell the truth, and they must be mistaken. Squint at the lot of them. Who's loose? Say she must have a confused with someone else. Look at the pass of dirty kids and say they seem well enough like brats to you. So I want to play along. I'm gonna help this lady out. Madam Josephine's ribald fatigue refuses to be confused with anyone else. That's quite the name. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Her pink face cracks into a great grin, and she screams the children away from her with a laugh. All right. Hey, hey, you tell me out. Go on and skip. Maybe I'll sing you something that I'm good and noble at. She Aww, she's got a heart. Eyes and dirty hair, and smiles proudly. <sighs> Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Say that that's true enough. Shake your hand. Ghost, you presume? Ask if she couldn't find some more age-appropriate companions. <laughs> Say you're more concerned with survival than entertainment. You presume right. Ask if she knows anything about the murder that happened on Burger. Sure. Try not to find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. That's fair. Tell her 
She ought to have a look around with you. You can watch each other's back. Wow, okay. Thanks. Her eyes flash to an unnatural depth. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the calm is cool. She smiles as though no change came over her. Alright, see you later, I suppose. Let's see what's in here. Gold. Alright, let's see what's over here. Actually, there was a, a door up there that I still haven't unlocked. Uh, tell him you're fine. Say you've been w through worse. Ask if he actually cares. Ask if he'd be fine. Collared like a dog and stuck in a ship's hold with a corpse and a murder on the loose. He tugs the collar of his uniform and chuckles. Almost like he had a part of it. <laughs> Sorry you're upset, sir. But we all wear what we wear for a reason. Okay. Alright. Looks like there's plenty of food here. I wonder if I can steal some of it. <gasps> I'm stealing all of it. Oh. I'm stealing literally everything. I stole the plate. Their crossbow trained upon her, or she'd bring them terrible to bow down. All right. Will you admit it then? You murdered that poor fellow. Yes, I did. But of course, it was only the beginning. She right. Her head, as if she was afraid to know. There are others whose lives are more terrible. Mine? Look, the woman's mad. You there, call to her. Go and speak to Magister Sewer. We need to do more to follow this one out. We need to stab her, hands and feet. Uh. Say yes, sir, and turn to leave. This murderer must be brought to justice. This may be the perfect opportunity to create mutiny. You stand by her. Address the sorcerer and ask her what she meant by there are others who must... Leave your prison doors to close. Your ship allowed boats for an hour or so to close. She reaches for her collar and stealthily removes it. Wow, really? I'm just the one who created safety. Interesting. Oh, if she can't talk, the void walk can help. Void walking. With wicked satisfaction. Please stay. Uh oh. I don't know how to fight. So I suppose it's white in the world. Yeah, that would be bad. So I, I'm just going to keep stealing stuff. <laughs> oh, ooh, all right. So now I've got weapons. All right. So that was Divinity Original Sin, the first episode. Um... Let me know in the comments if you want to watch more, and we'll find out if I make it out alive without getting my head taken off as a goblet. So until next time, see ya.